Thank you for your purchase of the VT500. This video is intended as a supplement to the original instructions. To easily pull the base out of the box by yourself, put your feet at the edge of the box with the flap down. Then from the other side, pull the other flap towards you and lean the box up. Then lower the machine out of the box. This way you do not have to pick up the entire machine and hurt your back. The rest of the parts, including the tower, handles, and screws, are in the long box. There is also a kit of tools that comes with the machine, including Phillips head screwdriver, Allen wrenches, and a wrench to tighten the nuts for balancing later. The first thing I like to do is sort out all the bolts, the largest ones first. Once sorted out, put the lock washers on first, then followed by the flat washers. Then you want to snip off the zip tie that holds the cable to the back of the base. That cable will be plugged into the cable that comes out of the bottom of the tower. It's easy to have a second person hold the tower while you plug this in. If you are by yourself, you can put it up leaned against your shoulder, and then while you scoot the column closer to the base, make sure to put the wires inside the base before you insert the column. This ensures that you do not pinch the cable. Now that you have the tower inserted into the base, take the largest bolts and simply thread them in. Do not screw them in all the way. The tip here is to go from side to side, only just getting a couple threads in. Do not tighten them all the way. You want to be able to wiggle the tower back and forth while you thread in all of the bolts. Once they're all threaded in, take your largest Allen wrench with the longest end towards the bolt and tighten them up. Once you can no longer tighten, then switch to the short end of the Allen wrench and tighten further. If you have a drill, you can get a 3 8 inch socket adapter to put in the chuck of the drill. Then put your Allen head socket on the end of that. This will speed up the process to screw in the 10 bolts. Using the drill is not enough to fully tighten the bolts. At the end of screwing in with the drill, you wanna take your ratchet and tighten them further. Next, sort out the mill-sized and small-sized Allen head bolts. The four smallest are for the decorative shield that goes over the 10 bolts that you just installed. Line up the holes and only put a couple threads in. Do not tighten all the way. It's a lot easier to install all four bolts by just threading them in first and tightening them later. Use the smallest Allen wrench with the long end towards the bolt to tighten them down. You do not need to use the small end for it can be easy to over tighten or strip these screws. Next, get your handlebars ready. You'll know which handlebar goes which because 
The round part that sticks out will be facing down. Line up your holes and again only thread in the bolt with your hand. Do not tighten the first one all the way down. You want to have a little bit of wiggle room so you can also then thread in the bottom. Once all screws are threaded in by hand, then you can tighten them. Another trick is that you could take the end of the Allen socket and use them to help you hand thread them in. Use the middle sized Allen wrench that came with the kit to first tighten them down with the long end and then switch to the short end to get a little bit more torque. If you have the drill, put your Allen socket back on the drill and you can tighten them further. Make sure to check your work by pulling on the tower. Next get out your Phillips head screws. These will be used for the decorative pieces that go on the handlebars. There are two holes in the back of the decorative piece. These are notched out for the Allen bolts that are already screwed in. Then simply press the two pieces together around the handlebar. It takes a little bit of finesse, but after a while you can get them to click together. Once you have both pieces pressed together, then you can take your Phillips head screws and thread them in. Another trick is you can take apart the Phillips head screwdriver that came with the kit and put it in the chuck of your drill. Make sure to go slowly though, because you can strip out the screw if you get it in wrong. We're almost done. Now it's time to balance the machine. First tip the machine back and tighten in the front two feet. Then tilt the machine forward and tighten the back two feet. Then take your foot and press down on each corner. If one of the corners go down, you know to lift that back up and unscrew it just a couple threads. When it doesn't go down any further, you know you have it right. The last step is to screw in the foot in the bottom of the column. To check it, set the machine down, grab onto the handles and pull it back. If the machine rocks, then simply unscrew that back foot a couple threads. And that completes the install of the VT500.